Hi everyone. Welcome to day two of Find Your Flow. Today's pose is best known as tabletop pose. And for our modifications, you're gonna want a towel or a blanket. We're gonna get started on our hands and knees. Just like in child's pose, if your knees are a little sensitive to the hardness of the floor or your mat, you're welcome to place your towel or your blanket underneath your knees for a little padding. We're gonna keep our knees about hip distance apart and go ahead and place them underneath your hips. So we're not leaning too far forward. We're not leaning back like we were doing in child's pose. We're stacking our hips right over our knees. For your hands, spread your fingers nice and wide. Place your wrist underneath your shoulders. And I want you to press yourself away from the floor with all parts of your hands, especially that part between the first finger and the thumb. We tend to roll out a little bit. So from here, engaging the low belly, that's gonna help elongate the spine a little bit more, especially in the low spine, the lumbar spine, and it's gonna help turn on those core muscles. So pressing yourself away from the mat, and then imagine the tips of your shoulders reaching apart from each other, as well as down towards the hips, strengthening the arms, the wrists, and the shoulders. Let your neck be nice and long and just have a natural gaze towards the top of your mat. We don't want to look down. We don't want to look forward. We're trying to keep the spine nice and neutral here because along with the strengthening in the arms, the wrists, the legs, and the core, we're also helping elongate the spine and bring it into a more neutral position. This is going to help alleviate any uh, discomfort that you might have by putting too much weight on your spine, meaning any kind of standing discomfort. All right, so let's look at some modifications for this pose. The most common modification for this pose involves the wrists. This tends to be a lot of extension for uh, many, many people. So what we wanna do is we wanna minimize the extension in the wrists by making a little shelf for uh, our fingers, if you will. So you will determine how tall you want that shelf to be. You can use the edge of your towel and your blanket. Notice that helps this extension by just adding a little softer of a bend there in the wrist. If that's still a little too much for you, then you can build that up with your towel or your blanket a little bit more. Yes, that's the most common modification for this pose. As I said, the benefits to this one is strength through the core, strength through the arms, elongating the spine and getting it in a more neutral position. This move is mostly used for transitioning and the transition poses that we're gonna use are gonna be in tomorrow for day three. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow. Namaste.